Assalamualaikum students. Welcome to the mathematics class. Today is our fifth lecture in which we will continue with our previous chapter that is 3D shapes. If you remember in our previous lesson we started this chapter 3D shapes and we were done with section A in which uh, we learned in detail about cones and, and pyramids. Okay, so uh, in this lecture, we will learn more about 3D shapes, uh, more in detail about other 3D shapes uh, that are formed by joining together various 2D shapes. Okay, so please open page number 39. Open page number 39, which is section B of the given chapter. So let's start. So, as I told you before, in our previous lecture, we learned about, uh, we learned in detail about cone. What is a cone? A cone has one curved face and one flat circular face at the bottom. It has one curved face at the top and uh, one flat face, which is in the shape of a circle at the bottom, right? And if you remember, what is a pyramid? A pyramid has all the faces which are flat. The top faces are all triangles and the bottom face can be of any shape with straight sides like a square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon. Okay, this is what, what we learned in the previous class. So, uh, today we'll learn in uh, more detail about cubes and spares and cylinders. Okay, so what is a cube? Basically, you can see this is actually a cube and uh, this is a 3d shape a cube is actually formed when you join various squares together now you know that square is a 2d shape right a square is a shape with four equal sides it's a 2d shape but when you join six squares together as you can see in this cube the front square the back one is also a square top face is also a square bottom face is also a square the side faces are all squares so all the faces of a cube are squares right so you actually join six squares just count the number of faces one two three four five and six okay there are six squares in this cube okay all the faces of a cube are flat that means none of them is curved all the faces are flat and all the faces are square in shape that means all the faces are squares front back top bottom side faces all of them are square in fact you join six squares together and what is formed a cube right so square is a 2d shape but you join six squares together and what do you get you get a 3d shape called cube now what is a sphere a sphere is actually formed um it's actually formed by a circle now what is a circle if you just uh, remember what we learned in the chapter 2d shapes a circle is basically a shape it's a 2d shape a circle is a 2d shape with one whole curve face and with no straight sides right this is what we learned in the chapter of 2d shapes now what is a sphere a sphere is basically a 3d shape reason is that you can see the front part you can see the back part you can see the top you can see the bottom basically a sphere is in the shape of a ball if you know uh, how a football or a basketball looks do you uh, have you ever seen a football or a basketball how does it look you can see the front of the ball you can see the back of the ball you can see the top you can see the bottom you can see the sides right so basically uh, any shape that is in the shape of a ball is actually a sphere okay any a sphere is basically in the shape of a ball okay so it's not a circle a sphere is actually not a circle circle is just a 2d shape but sphere is actually formed by a circle in a in a form of a 3d shape okay and basically a sphere is in the shape of a ball you can whenever um, we are talking about a sphere you can just imagine a ball in front of you okay so a ball is basically a 3d object right you can see the front you can see the back you can see uh, you can see the ball in various directions so that is basically a sphere now a sphere has one curved face now just imagine a ball in front of you how many faces does a ball have a ball has uh, just one curved face that is all around it, right? 
it a ball is a complete curve and the curve is all around it the front the back the top the bottom everything is curved right everything is curved so a sphere has just one curved face that means it's actually a sphere is just a curve all the way around so a sphere has one curved face and it has no flat faces okay it has no flat faces you can just imagine a ball uh, a ball actually has just one curved face that is a ball is a curve no a ball does not have a flat face it's completely curved so a sphere is actually in the shape of a ball and a sphere has one curved face and there are no flat faces okay. now what is a cylinder now a cylinder is basically formed when you join two circles together and there is a curved face in between okay that means that there is a circle at the top there is a circle at the bottom and there is a curved face in between what can you see there is a circle at the top there is a circle at the bottom and the center part is actually a curved face okay so a cylinder has two flat faces what are the flat faces of the cylinder the top part and the bottom part these are flat right they are flat they are not curved they are flat and what is the shape of these flat faces circle circle okay so these these two faces are circular and they are flat okay a cylinder has two flat circular faces one at the top and one at the bottom both are same circles the middle part is a curved face the center part here you can see that this is the center part no? this is a curved face you can just imagine uh, a kind of jar if 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 you have ever seen a jar a jar is actually in the shape of a cylinder the top face and the bottom face are flat okay and circle in shape okay and the center part that is a curve a curved face in the center and two flat circular faces at the top and the bottom so that means how many faces are there in the cylinder one circular face at the top one circular face at the bottom that means two circular faces and one curved face so there are total three faces in a cylinder okay now what is a cuboid as you can remember how was a cube formed how was a cube formed a cube was formed when you joined squares together right when you join six squares together you form a cube similarly a cuboid is actually formed when you join six rectangles together okay when you join six rectangles together you get a cuboid and when you join six squares together you get a cube so this is a cuboid as you can see it has a front face that is a rectangle the back face is the rectangle the top is a rectangle the bottom is the rectangle and the side faces are also rectangles so when you join six rectangles together you get a cuboid and all the faces in a cuboid are flat none of them is curved all faces are flat straight they're flat and rectangle in shape okay now let's look at different objects around us that are made up of various 3d shapes now obviously um, all the things that you can see around you they are actually 3d shapes you can see the front you can see the back you can see the top the bottom uh, everything around us has has a certain number of faces okay so um, here in the in the entire lecture of 3d shapes uh, we learned so many 3d shapes we learned about cube cuboid pyramid cone cylinder okay we learned about so many 3d shapes fair so let's look at several objects around us that are actually made up of the various 3d shapes that we just learned right now okay look at this what is this this is basically a tissue box right this is a tissue box now this tissue box is a dash what 3d shape actually matches with this tissue box you can see the front is a rectangle you can see this side is a rectangle the other side would also be rectangle the, the top part is a rectangle bottom would also be rectangle the back would be a rectangle so when you join rectangles together what do you get you get a cuboid right so this tissue box is a cuboid now look at this marble 
you can see the top face is a square the side face is a square the front face is a square and all the faces are squares so when you join squares together what do you get cube this marble is a cube now look at this this ball so whenever we are talking about a ball or a balloon a circular ball or a circular balloon what comes in your mind a sphere exactly this ball is a sphere a uniform a perfectly circular balloon or a ball is actually a sphere now look at this this is a party hat you can see the top face is a curve and the bottom face is a flat circular face obviously this looks curved but this is not curved because this is lying on a floor but in fact it's a flat circular face at the bottom so this hat is a cone and you can see this this is a toy but you can see that the the top faces are triangles right this is a triangle this is a triangle the back part would also be a triangle the side would also be a triangle right and these triangles are meeting at a point you can see the the bottom the bottom shape can be i think it's a rectangle the bottom shape is a rectangle but probably it might be a square so what comes in your mind when triangles flat triangles join together they form a pyramid okay so this toy is a pyramid okay students so we are done with uh, all the details about 3d shapes so in the last lesson and in this lecture we finally got over with the chapter 3d shapes so please take out page number 41 of your book and solve this book exercise okay we actually learned about the various objects that are actually in the shape of 3d shapes that we learned okay so make sure you solve this book exercise in case of any query question or confusion make sure you watch the video again so that your confusions are cleared okay don't miss out this exercise make sure you complete all the assignments on time we'll meet you in the next lecture till then allah hafiz thank you